connecting. It's the Lumbrarians versus Fabulous Scales. This, um... Uh, this might suck. I'm, like, I'm not... I'm not that good with... I, like, I don't feel like I'm that good with, with elves, at least. Let's see what they've got. Uh, a Crox with Guard. Block Saurus, Block Saurus, Block Mighty Blow. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Block Guard, Skink. Nothing. Diving Tackle, Sidestep, Skink. And Diving Tackle, plus Strength. Okay. So we need to get rid of those. Unfortunately, I don't think we have uh, a single tackle piece. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, we need some... I don't understand why we can't get the high elves, but apparently we're not allowed to. Like, the high elves are doing really well. Uh, they were, at least from what I remember when we played them. On the stream, so... Maybe, maybe I'll force a high elf game next time. All oh, right, we have a tree. <laughs> um, he can beat back to the ground. Though. I'm still gonna keep him in the middle because why not? How much cards do you have? Um. Loner on the LOS and Nettle Onicon, I think. And now I need to remember that we have. Right, guard would answer. Stripple would answer. Actually, we're going to put the wrestle guy on. Then. Who the fuck are we gonna... Well, we need that guy over there. Put that guy there. Okay, it's plus agility dodge over here then, I guess. That'll have to do. Uh, so... Uh, this skink needs to be dealt with, and this... Skink needs to be dealt with. Diving tackle is just very annoying for us to deal with. Well, it's not it's not annoying for a plus agility dudes. Uh well I guess it's less annoying for them, but it's still annoying. And he's placing his dudes really far back. I'm not entirely sure why. There we go, moving them forward. Um, okay, I guess he don't want to deal with a tree man. I thought he'd just use his guard uh, guy and have the Croxagor poop on him. Uh, but I guess he only has one guard guy, so that wouldn't be enough. Um, let's see. Where do we want to go? Uh, mm hmm. Let's kick it short. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh. Skink caught it, but it's one of the unleveled skinks. I don't think we have anything good to deal with that. No, not really. Well, we have... We have block strip ball, which is good against skinks, to be honest. And that's uh, that's a nice start. I know the Croxigore. Uh, I'm pretty sure he moved him over here just to get some use out of Prince Hall Tail uh, or Guard, but he doesn't need Guard against my War Dancer. Nope. That's a push, and I can still. Be well, the King's gonna move, so we'll see where it goes. Uh, but this is effectively stopped anyone from running through here, so there's going to be a cage somewhere. Uh, that cage is over there. So... Yeah, I think we're going to start this off with the classic leap strip ball play that everyone uh, knows and loves.
Also, we're going to block down this Croxivore. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, well, that's okay then. Okay. Well, that's nice. Um, but that guy's probably going to stand right back up. <gasps> nice. Very nice. Okay, Loner, you go stand over here now. Uh, just be annoying. And... Hey, Russell, dude. You get to go over here. And we're going to position this guy here, I think. Actually. Yeah. And we're going to move the catcher back here because we, like, even if even if we manage to knock it loose, it's very unlikely that we actually, um, that we can actually get to it. Yes. 2-1. Did not leap. Which is why we left this. Now, this catcher is here in the middle, so he can just blitz the catcher down, unfortunately. But it's also like... Uh, the Crocs, of course, stood up. What a jerk. But this means probably, like, most of the Sorai are going to hurt my elves, and then they're going to just stick around. They can't really follow. Like, these two Sorai, uh, Sorai are free. This, this one's stuck here still. Um, so the question is where the next cage is going to be. Okay, it's just going to be down here then. So we're going to basically do the same thing again. Because at some point it's going to work. Possibly. Ah, uh, it's the loner gone then. Oh, are they gonna? No. They might. They might try and find the war dancer. Uh, they do have a spare skink. Yep. Oh, well, that's... That one's stunned. Um... I'm trying to figure out if there's a... No, there's not a way. Okay, so... Uh, run! That's right. Crying out loud. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, unfortunately, I, I, I can't do better than that. Which is not great. Uh, the good news is that we have our guard sidestep Blodge War Dancer here. And we have a tree man now. Unfortunately, the crocs also managed to move. Um. Uh, boom. We're still staying put. Mostly because if we weren't, uh, this war dancer would be pushed out of. No, we're going down here. This is not this is not going that well. <laughs> because <laughs> Bludge doesn't doesn't do much for us currently. Uh which is a shame. Uh let's see, can he he can't really get a proper side cage here, which is nice. Um Yep. That's actually uh This is this should be fine. Um, depends on uh, where the skink goes. Actually, it depends on where all of these skinks go. Because right now, I have a line man next to the Soros. So, okay, nice. Um, Fuck diving tackle. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. That was so stupid of me. I'm going to lose at least a reroll. Yeah. Um. And oh, that guy's got guard, so. Holy shit. Tree stood up. And took root. <laughs> Now we actually have to make all of these dodges, which is the hard bit. Um, The problem with, with that was, of course, that, like, I don't have anyone that can actually cover that because all my dudes moved. Uh, because of me fucking up over here and some other places. Uh, but it's still, like, it's still better that it's there because one of the, one skink gone. Um... One lying down, one standing up that can run over there. Uh, but we should be able to, like, reform, hopefully. Like.
my poor dude down. Uh, don't want to use stand farm. But it's nice that he did. Oh, did he use defender? No, he used... Oh, uh, what? I've, I've missed something here. Why did that not work? Stand farm is turned off. So... He shouldn't be in this square. I'm, I I know there's like I'm sure there's a way there's a way this works that I've like forgotten about. I think, but you. I'm pretty sure I did double. No, I double check piling on, but I think stand firm was also like. Check. I'm not entirely sure. No. Okay, so that guy can get over there. We're gonna do that. And this guy's gonna get over there. Ah, oh, fuck me. Yes, free roll that. Damn it. I need to start paying attention to how I run, apparently, because that was no good. And now I'm out of rerolls. But hey, it's turn four, other than like turn two. <sighs> Fuck me. His dwarf just did a going for it and tripped and broke his jaw. Yeah, but he's orc, so... No, he's dwarves. Well, even better. Alright, uh, but he apothecary to badly hurt. I've, I've lost two rerolls because I've been sloppy, and then I've uh, had turnovers because I rolled more once in the same turn. Uh... Okay, there we go. Fuck you for taking root. Uh, yeah, both my war dancers have. Well, one of them got badly hurt, and uh, the other one KO'd on a GFI, so that's cool. Um, okay. So that worked. Um, let's run. Okay, not good enough. Ah, oh, I fucked it up. I shouldn't have done that. Damn it. Can you score from there? Yeah, you can. Okay. Um... Hmm. Oh shit, I can do that. Possibly. No! So the plan was, by the way, to run this catcher up here so that I could uh, do a one dive block on the Croxigore and then follow up and have the tackle zone on the skink. But 
the skink did a GFI for no reason. So I don't know what that was about. Yeah, I am like, I am not, it's weird, usually I'm rolling well like on the elf bullshit, or I kind of feel like I am, but today, the, uh, uh, the weirdness comes from rolling pretty well on like, injuries and casualties and stuff, and horrible at everything else. to say anymore. Get me my high elves back, please. Ah, oh, cheap. Oh, he scored on turn seven. Well then. That should be uh well I'm not I'm not gonna say fine, because it's not fine, but I am playing with a team that can score in two turns still. Um uh, as long as I don't roll ones. This, by the way, is a very classic setup. It's like the first setup I learned. Um, if you skip, oh well, no, not when you put the skinks there. So, plus agility in the back. Uh, to score. Let's see, do I have... Yep, okay. As long as we don't get a blitz, we're fine ish. Like, I'm not sure why he spread his LOS out like this. Um. Oh, I shouldn't have followed up there. That was sloppy of me. There we go. Okay, let's see how far these little suckers can run. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. Well, this guy can run down and base, uh, my plus agility guy. Uh, but I'm hoping that my movement and n not falling down is going to help a lot against that. And all of these guys are still in... Uh, are still in scoring position. So, um, like, even this guy... And it's honestly probably going to be a case where I hand off and pass. Actually, yep, hand off and pass. And it's probably going to be uh, this guy, because this guy can easily get out. Unless he doesn't leave anyone. Well, that's a plus strength diving tackle skink. Is this a diving tackle skink? No, it's not. Good. Because that's a diving tackle skink. So that means this uh, willow is our scoring piece. Uh, I dare block this po proxy one first. Yeah, why not? Okay, so... He can get over there. This... can get over there that way. So that's, that's the pass. So, we need to... We need to do this. Okay, good start. I'm doing everything in one go here because I don't have a reroll and it doesn't actually, you know, matter. Um, well, these are gonna these are gonna require more dodges, so I'm not gonna do that. Come on, Valen and Dr. Sycamore. Holy shit. Okay, so... Like, I have the bullshit within me, I guess. And that brings our KO do back. I've currently got a seven-man cage surrounded by dwarves. So punish your way out. It's a little bit difficult, they're dwarves. Yeah, but they don't have guard. You're they do. Stronger. They do have guard. Not that much. Enough. Nah. Man up. I'm not a man. I'm a knock. Punch them. He's chain pushing me out of the that cage. That was... Uh, let's, let's do a bit of counting in there. That was a 2 plus... 2 plus... 2 plus... 2 plus 2 plus. Let's see. 1, 2, 3 for the handoff. 1, 2. Okay, so it's 5, 2 plus, a 3 plus, and then a 2 plus to catch. In case you were trying to keep uh, track. Uh, am I missing more dudes? Did someone else get hurt? No. So where are... Charles Slayer just dodged into a tackle zone, picked up the ball, and dodged out. Okay, then. That was Charles Slayer's. They're like elves. With beards. I've, I've, I've heard that before. 
They're caved. I'm not sure why you put a skink in the middle of here, because it's just going to get uh, three die blocked by the... Well, yeah, he... I don't think he's... Uh... Used the line man a lot. Hmm. Oh, what's going on, Thursday? I can't. Oh, Thursday. Don't be grumpy. Or I guess you could if you really wanted to. Okay, we're going to do the same thing again. Pretty much. Thursday. Crane that round. Okay, good. Uh, this guy's going to vanity pass it because he needs an SPP. Um, hmm. No. Gonna fail that catch. Okay, I'm going to see what my cat wants. Come on, Thursday. What? Get over here. You went. You whiny baby. You whiny baby. What have you been in the bathroom? Why? What? Are you, what have you been doing? There's like, there's not that much stuff you you can get up to over here. Like, it's not that big of an apartment. How did you get wet paws? Huh? How did you get wet paws? Oh, that's, uh... <laughs> that's dub skulls. And that's a, uh... What just happened? I, I was busy with Thursday being weird. But that's, uh... That's a Soros down. Uh, so that's really good. For me. So, we are going to run in and score quickly, because I would like to be uh, up a touchdown if I can. She, like, she's either been in in the kitchen, walking around in my sink, or she's been in the, in the bathroom, uh, waddling about in the, like, in the shower. I'm gonna have to, I'm like, I'm gonna have to <laughs> take a quick look while, uh, my, oh no, the other swords came back. Uh, okay, tree man, wrestle, that's good. And the net lot. This is definitely not good enough. Uh, well, okay. Uh, <laughs> that's us then. Be right back. After thorough investigation, 
I think she's been walking around in the sink or something. I did it. Did Got what? the ball back. Well, congratulations. Then I did a, a pass because I'm ox and they do that. And then I ran away from the dwarves because they're very slow. And now I'm going to score and I'm going to win. It's amazing. That does sound amazing. Oh, he did two goalies for it and sat next to my ball carrier. That's just uncomfortable. Hmm. Maybe I'm not going to score. I'm actually, I'm going to kick it, I'm going to kick it deep because I think I can run through with an elf or something. Hey, rerolls! No, don't! Jeez, nice. Thursday. Go attack the newspaper if you want, but it's not that strange. Now I'm going to pick you up again because you, when you're grumpy, I like to hold you so you get even grumpier. Oh, Netalonicon got uh, KO'd Thursday. That wasn't good. That was really bad. But it's like the dude who keeps getting KO'd. Probably because there's not have any level ups. Okay, I gotta do a block with no reroll. You can do it. Probably. Maybe. Oh, look at that Thursday. Our catcher is my... What are you... No! What are you trying to do? You grumpy cat. Okay, there you go. I did it! I won! It's amazing. <gasps> Proxigor got bonehead Thursday. That's nice. Okay. So, uh, let's see where the skinks end up, because, you know what, we might actually, we might actually get to do another, uh, <laughs> leap here. Oh, failed the GFI, re-rolled it. Okay, yeah, now I know what Thursday's doing, because it, it's been, like, it's been wet out. Uh, a few days ago, so I've got like a newspaper just uh, in, in like when you get into my apartment the hallway, uh, there's a newspaper on the floor to like so put wet boots on, and she's tearing it apart. You can hear it. You are <laughs> this fucking cat. No. Ah, uh, my tree takes root a lot, like pretty early on. Um, no. Th oh, f why am I not paying attention? Okay. Well, it still worked out in the end because I rolled a six. So, now we don't have to worry about that guy anymore. And we can move this line man back a bit. We did it! That's really hard to pick up because it's in three tackle zones. Well, that was the luckiest scatter I've had in a while. Oh, and he snake made the pickup too. Holy shit. But then it just scattered lovely.
Okay, and that's a push into... Oh, that's... That's... Uh... Well, it, start, it started as a good scatter for me, and then it gave a uh, good scatter to the, uh, to the skinks, which is fine. I honestly don't understand what this cat's on about. There's something very... Fishy going on? Yeah, right. Okay, so let's see. What's... Unfortunately... This war dancer does not have sidestep, so it's not slight as annoying. That's good. Uh, that's going to be a pushback, uh, and then he's going to run down and protect the skink. But at least that gives me a chance to do the same thing again. I got a level up on my Lionhawk. I got VP and did a pass. And it's a double five. Ooh, that's gonna be difficult. Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could do that. I have a reroll for that. This is, this is very. It, this is very. It's slightly difficult to do now. Uh, I don't know if you can hear her, but holy crap, is she going on about something? Okay, we're gonna start with a catcher because I need someone who's actually, you know, there. <laughs> Okay, so she's basically just wrecking shit now. Okay, and now it's time for the leap. Because this is difficult to dodge through, but I can I can leap over here. And then dodge out and do that, but we'll start with a leap. That's a badly hurt skink. Um, oh, you have diving tackle, you bastard. Um, you guys don't, though. Damn it. <laughs> what do you want me to do, Thursday? She's she's running around in the apartment and then she comes by the desk and just goes meow and then walks away. She's ah. alerting you to possible burglars probably. It could be. Okay, I honestly don't know. Are, are there birds but, outside? Uh, not really, no. Like, she's not very interested in the outside. Oh, okay, now she's attacking the uh, food, so. I think it's just that she really wants to play. And it's boring to play on, on your own. Okay, there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of dudes here. Okay, so he does have a reroll, so this should be fine. Oh, oh no, it's not. Well, um. Well, this is going to be slight. 
This is going to be slightly tricky to deal with. Um, because I can't really... Uh, hmm. Hmm. I might have to, like, elf it here. Ah, that didn't work. <sighs> no! Don't... <laughs> It's fucking game. <laughs> I granted trying to dodge onto the ball next to a crocs over the pencil tail. It's a four plus. Uh, but my other option was to dodge with this person and it would have been really far. And my... Um... My war dancer still needed to hold on to that ball, but I don't think... Like, I feel like... And this is probably false, but I feel like I never play a game where I have both my war dancers for very long. If I ever have both of them at the end. I mean... Okay, so... Um... Ooh, you made it. Yes. Reroll that. Okay, um... Here comes the bullshit part. I'm dodging this way because of diving tackle. Uh, because it's not that hard for me to do that with diving tackle. Failed to pick it up, though, because it was in five fucking tackle zones. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let's have a look at that dodge. Yeah, so I rolled a two, and then it's minus, uh, three, so I used to re-roll, and that worked out fine. And then I rolled a two on the pickup, and that wasn't good enough. Meow. Okay, so, uh, I feel like, like, at some point, uh, these kings are going to pick up the ball and score, and I can't really do anything, because there's currently, like, it's only my, <laughs> my agility 5 dodge guy that's here. Uh, I can possibly do things, and that person is being stopped by a freaking plus strength diving tackle skink all the time. But if I ever get the ball, I'm going to pass it to my catcher and then run the fuck away. There we go. They picked it up. Uh, okay, but that's, that's kind of good because that's actually not good enough. Uh, well, he's going to probably move this Saurus, I assume. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um. No, that's not worth it. So, uh, here comes the sick dodging. Uh, we're going to dodge into a tackle zone with diving tackle on us. 
Is this the best move? Yes. <laughs> and then we sneak out to KO herself. I guess like every Wood Elf game today is gonna be uh, is gonna be two two. I feel like mo most of the KOs here are me failing dodges, but uh, I mean I know at least two of them are failed dodges. Uh, I could have the re the reason I didn't apo was because if you apo a KO, you stay on the pitch, but you you you're stunned, so I wouldn't be able to use that player on the last turn anyways. Uh, and that, well, I guess the reason this is well, it's actually kind of well, no, it's actually not fair. Uh, like it, well, it's he. Oh shit. Yeah, he should have run in and scored it. This is very unlikely to work, but it might. Go! Holy shit! Go! Go! So close! That's the end of the game. But yeah, that was a... Ah, oh, lost fan factor from that. Oh, well. Oak, Oak Thello. Nice. Got a level. It's not going to help me much. Three level ups. Well, that's actually kind of cool. Um, Asp of War. Strip Ball. And... Well, we've got Strip Ball, so we don't need Tackle. What do we want? We want... Sidestep. And our wrestle player uh, wants dodge. And our plus agility player uh, wants dodge. And part of me wants to buy a 12th player, but I don't think it's... I don't think we can actually afford the team value right now. So, we're going to wait with that for a bit. Oh! Julius Cedar is pretty close to leveling up, too. So, that's nice. 